to see photo video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you the bilateral blur. It's one of the filters that you can find in the filters and blur and bilateral. But before I do that I'm just going to quickly go and duplicate this layer. So I just want to create a duplicate of this. Now what you can do then go to filters and blur and bilateral blur and straight away you can actually see if I blur that I'll just increase tolerance a bit. You can actually see what happens is you've got a nice edge preserving. So you can actually still see the type there, see the type there, and also around there, you can actually see the edge. So it's a real it does preserve edges quite nicely and creates a sort of very blurry effect around these sort of areas, very obviously flat areas there. So you can push that up to the extreme, and you still can see there, of course, you can push it even to the more and more, and then you can sort of see the, the lines, obviously it's blurring across like that. So that's a quick run through of that. Uh, now, I'm just going to reduce that down a bit. I'm gonna, just going to reduce the tolerance, and let's say it creates a nice, but by adding it to a layer, what you can do, of course, you can actually apply this, and it is a destructive effect. So at this point, you think, oh, that's it. But obviously, once you've got a layer, you can actually just remove it, just quickly get rid of that. So straight away remove if you don't want that. But also you've got the advantage of darken normal the blend mode. So you can actually just go through very rapidly and decide there. Obviously the effect itself is passed, so you can't actually change that. Obviously just delete it or go back, obviously. So you can run through all the various options there. Now, another feature of the bilateral blur is that you can actually just gonna go back, go to the layer and new live filter layer. Not all of the filters are available unfortunately. So you can actually go and select that one and now it becomes a layer and it's very similar but it's still live and that's the key thing. It's live. So you can actually go and modify it at a later point. So again you can apply the same sort of things, modify the tolerance, make it you can see this nice blurring effect again and another thing that's really quite nice in Infinity is that you can just drag that across and you can see you can modify the actual radius just by dragging which is quite right now I actually prefer to actually control it from here but just do that another option of course is that you can use the blend mode so you can again run through very quickly as well as obviously having them live you can actually Modify through there. Now, another great thing about this is that you can go and add another one. So you can also add other effects. So layer, new filter, and bilateral blur, and add another one on top of that. And you can see you can blur it again. Again, still preserves the type. So obviously you can make it totally blurred at that point. You can see, and also, again, you've got the added option of combining additional blend modes with the effect as well. So a numerous possible designs are available. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.